How do you handle criticism or negativity from haters online and in life in general? Me personally, I don't really, I, I'm such a troll. I never gave a f if somebody was trying to troll me. You know, there's people that that'll, that'll say shit on TikTok. They'll compare me to other people and they'll be like, they'll compare me to other people and be like, oh, this dude's funnier or T-Banks this or T-Banks this or this, that, and third. But I say it like this, like, it never bothered me for somebody to say like some hating ass shit because of a couple of reasons. One, the thing is always gonna be like this. For me, I'ma always just say like, bro, we can go band for band. F what you talking about? You hating on some shit like, and like people just be like, look, people be talking crazy shit. They'll say things like, they'll watch a clip of me and be like, bro, like, show us a band RN. I can show you, I can show you 200. People will see, see like, somebody, people enjoying streamers clips and be like, I don't know how people can watch streamers. The same way you watch a TV show or a movie? It's entertainment? What the f are you talking about? Bro, I don't know why people donate or sub their streamers. The same way you pay to see a movie? Thank you for the entertainment. I don't want ads and I don't, his, for other people, his appreciation for making me laugh, making me feel better. Here go five subs. What are you talking about? They be hating on people for enjoying different things. Like, bro, what? You know what I'm saying? And, and you, you wanna know how, how I worry about it? For, for me, I was always a troll. I wasn't even popular growing up in, in like middle school. I didn't become popular until like later on high school. So I was already able to take the butter jokes and start cooking people back. I'm talking about cook, cook, cook. So when I see shit like that, that was a hating ass comment, you know what I'm saying? I really want this girl, but she don't FW me like that. What should I do? That's because your name is Breezy. Shut your ass up. I backslap you with spit on my hand, ass boy. But for me, it's like on some real shit. He bought the elder. I did not say he, bro. I said, she bought me out in the ring. Shut your ass up, dude, for I elbow you. I go through a comment and I see some hating ass shit. It's always by some hating ass little kid. It don't even be hitting little kids. It be grown men sometimes. Talking about some bro, this guy isn't funny. He's corny. And then Whip it out, big boy. you'll go in there on there. What's good, Bastion? You'll go on your TikTok and you'll be grown as hell, 28, taking videos with filters like this. Showing a weak ass cut, no enhancement. Weak ass cut, no enhancement. Still paying twenty five dollars for a haircut. You don't even see the. You don't even see the, the sloop and the sloop when they sit. Weak ass cut. You twenty eight with some crazy edit. I'm talking about with some, with some weak ass drum. And you got no edit to the shit. What the f is you doing, cuz? It be some crazy shit. They be hating. Bro. I'm talking about. They be saying all types of shit. They be saying somebody. And look, I don't even have a problem. If you find somebody funnier than me. Humor is subjective. So this can be somebody that, that'll do what I do, they'll, they'll ride my dick and like try to be like me and somebody will find them funnier. That's fine. I don't give a f because the proof is in the pudding. And the reason why I say that, you can tell who, who like, who really ride my dick and who really the real one in this shit because, because you gotta think about it like this. I got 3,000 subs. I got almost 200,000 followers. The same people that I be telling you like, bro, just be yourself, but yet they want to dick ride me because they think it's gonna work for them. You don't have nothing to show for it, bro. Like, you have to be yourself. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. You have to be yourself, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not going to work for you, cuz. It might work for you. TikTok is easy to gain some traction. But then, when you actually have people, right? Because here's the thing. You have a, you get a number of viewers on TikTok, number of followers. You can, get, you can get a whole bunch. And people will come on TikTok and follow you, like your videos, because it's fed up, because it's funny. But when you have to... Translate that into long form content, YouTube and Twitch, and they come to your live stream and expect you to be funny like that little 30 second clip that you copy somebody else's doing. And the best thing you can do is, well, guys, I had a story time. <laughs> now you're stressing. What's wrong with my name? Now you're stressing. Now you don't know what to talk about. Now this is leaving. Now you, I see T Banks do. <laughs> be yourself, bro. It's not, you know what I'm saying? Like, all the OGs. Please do the bust a nut. Let me find out who that was, bro. Hold on, let me get his ass gone. Hold on, chat. Let me get his ass gone right quick. Let me get his ass gone. No, anyways, all my OGs, remember, before I started playing games, before I started doing reactions, I used to stream for four hours and just crack jokes the whole time. No yapping. I'm talking, even though it's yapping, crack jokes. No reactions, no videos, no games, or nothing. All my old, and I, I used to never miss. It used to be Jack back to back to back to back to back to back. Four hours plus of just straight jokes. Like naturally I can do this, bro. Like, that's why people tell me like, bro, you should probably, you should try stand up. You know what I'm saying? Like you have a whole comedy specials in front of all these people cracking jokes. You should try stand up. I don't do it no more because I'm, I'm different. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I didn't changed up. I didn't changed up my content style. I could do it now if I wanted to. You know what I'm saying? But. 
when I see hate comments and shit, it don't really bother me. Because like I said, everybody knows who's the real one. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody, everybody can be in the comments like, nah, you trying to do, you know what I'm saying? It's not, yeah, you trying to be like cuz, bro. Like, bro, you trying to, like, be yourself. Everybody tell me, like, bro, be yourself. Y'all heard that? Please tell me y'all heard that, bro. No, on baby Jesus. On baby Jesus, tell me y'all heard that. I'm in that on your beard, lil' bro. Smiley face. Smiley face. Smiley face. Yo, yo, don't play, bro, because I'm in the stream right now. Don't play, bro. Anyways, like I was saying. So, has there ever been a hate comment that slightly got to me? Yeah, like very slightly. Like, I read it like, that was some bullshit. Like, what you mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, that was some bullshit. Like, that was some bullshit. Like, what, what you hating for, bro? Like, that kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. You know, not hurt my feelings, but I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's people that think I'm not funny, which is fine. Um, oh, I seen another hate comment. I had bought my scat. And somebody had said to me, they was like, uh, I ain't put in a comment. I think I talked about this. Just started making money and blows it on the expensive car. Just started making money. Stupid man. Have you not watched one of my videos? And, and I know I've been getting money this whole year. I've been getting money this whole year. What is he talking about? Stupid man. And look, here's the thing. Even if I did blow money on that scat. There is two wide eyes through the blind. Be careful. Yo, bro. Yo, bro. Chill out, bro. If I go get my switch right now on stream. Chill out, cuz. But I'm playing like, who the, let me see what that was. Oh, yeah. He hit like a bit. Don't play like that, bro. I go get my switch right now on stream. Don't play like that, bro. The f is wrong with you, cuz? I've been getting money this whole year. So I'm like, he tripping, you know what I'm saying? And even if I did waste money on the car, let's say, let's say I did waste money on that car. Why does it matter to you? If that specific number of money that the car costs and I bought it and it's not coming out your bank account, why are you losing sleep over it? I feel like my girl be lying to me, but I ain't really got evidence FR. I just have a gut feeling. What do I do? She lying to your bitch ass if you got a gut feeling. What that got to do with you? It's not your bank account. Let me see somebody spend some money on some dumb shit. I'm still going to be. Hey, Uncle Harold here again, and I was wondering how I could get some more money to bag some bad snow bunnies. Like M42 and don't got a job. Should I get a job or not? What? First of all, you f***ed up because your name is Harold. Second of all, you need you don't even need money to get snow bunnies. You don't even need money to bag snow bunnies. All you need to do is be black. Beard, swole, a little bit of motion. I would like to say a formal apology for my donation comment. Appreciate you. It was an unfunny joke that was only used to bring down others. I am truly sorry. Also, can you please share your booty meet up and down in my face, please? How do I get black with motion? What? What do you mean how do you get black? Yo bro, alright bro. Skinwalker staring at you or and through the window. Where's my switch bro? Motherfucker wanna come in this crib, he wanna, it's gonna be a motherfucker fun time in this I got baby oil, I got coconut oil. What you wanna do? Come on, come in this crib. And I got a switch and a big old dick. Which one you want? Which one you want? Come in this crib if you want. Oh nah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh nah. I ain't say nothing about getting to do no f I ain't never said nothing like that, bro. I just said I got baby oil. All I know is, I'm always pitching, never catching. You know what I'm saying? Let my boy come in my crib. I ain't gonna confirm. Yeah, they're revealing themselves. Yup, look at him. Talking about what you gonna do, f him? T Banks? You gonna f him? Look at him. Start banning. Start getting them out of here, chat. Start getting them out of here. Hey, Maul, start getting them out of here. What you mean, age? Dominate me with that black and shrimp of yours. Alright, we really about to ban your ass forever. Yo, hello, T Banks. First time chatted here. Quick question, do you suck your girl's toes? Great question, my man. <laughs> that was a quick one. Got his ass so gone. Don't even worry about it, y'all. Look, he school set you up to be employee, not rich. Nah, facts. You gotta work for yourself if you wanna be rich. Me personally, I wouldn't I didn't mind being a male stripper. <clears throat> what y'all putting question marks for? 
Why do you sound so different from TikTok? Oh yeah, let's get his ass gone. Who said that? Let me find out who that was. JX. Oh yeah, give him. Oh no, nah, he ran like a bitch. Not male stripper is crazy. I said rich, not gay. Yo. Me personally, I didn't care what I did, bro. I actually have an OnlyFans account already made. I'd be praying for the day when a super shaking earthquake hits at the same time you turn around and bend over to pick something up. Right, one time you were afraid of your parents. There's only one time I was afraid of my dad. And most young men, especially black men, there comes a time in your life where you start to challenge your pops. You don't feel afraid of this little motherfucker no more. You know what I'm saying? Like my pops, 5'7". And at one point, I started thinking to myself, I'm not worried about this little motherfucker. And I remember the one time I was actually afraid of my dad. My brother was getting in trouble crazy. And maybe I'll ask him if it's fine to tell this story. He might not want me to. But I'll ask him one day. And I remember my dad had seen me, right? And you know as a little kid, when other little kids are in trouble, you start crying and shit too because what's going on is crazy. So I remember I'm sitting there, I'm watching my brother getting his ass all slung around that room. I'm talking about slung all crazy and shit. So... In my head, I get to thinking like, oh, nah, right? So I get to crying and running around too, even though I'm not in trouble, right? So I remember my dad, he had his belt in his hand. What did I say, pause? What did I say that was pause? He was getting his, I said, because he was getting his ass slung around. I'm talking about like, because he was little, he getting his ass slung. All right, y'all just forced that one. That one, that one was actually not funny. Yeah, y'all forced that one, I ain't gonna lie. But anyways, listen, right? So he, so he get in the room, Getting his ass whooped and shit, right? Yeah, y'all forced that one. Yeah, yeah, that one wasn't funny. Normally it would be funny when y'all say pause. Y'all forced that one. My brother, his ass, little ass, getting slung across the room and shit like a fucking rag doll. I'm sitting there crying. I'm, I just got my boxer briefs on. I'm running around the room and shit. I'm, I'm just crying. I'm not even in trouble. I remember my dad had seen me crying, right? And I guess he was overstimulated. Pause. My pop's scared of me. He don't want this big black and shrimp right, in his holes. So he seen me, right? My dad, I guess he, he got overstimulated. Pause. He seen me, and like he he like started walking towards me like a Terminator. Am I cooked? Please tell me I'm cooked. I'm tweaking, biting walls. D B V N K S, Daddy. Please tell me I'm cooked. I'm not working with you no more, cuz. So my dad he get to walk like me towards me like the Terminator. He got a belt in his hand though, right? So I run. Like, let me show y'all verbatim what I did. So I run. Who's in the hotel? I run. I jump in the hotel bed like this. I take the comforters and I wrap myself in it like this. Right? So I jump in the bed. He take his be the belt he had in his hand. Let me find something to slam. It's a little plastic. He had a belt in his hand. He slammed that bitch on the ground like this. He said, Arrgh! and screamed in my face. <laughs> After he did that, I ain't gonna lie. I was nervous as hell, bro. Cause I guess he was overstimulated. Like he wanted to hit me with the belt, but I guess he thought he would feel bad. So he slammed that bitch. He if went, you go broke Arrgh! like that broke, do you start selling your bones? <laughs> Mind you, I'm seven. I'm little as hell. So I'm looking up at my dad while he's doing that. I'm, I'm underneath the cover. This motherfucker looked like the Incredible Hawk from 2003. Like the camera was shaking and shit. And then, yeah, he just like, Nigga screamed in my face. And I, like I said, bro, I ain't know what to do. But that was the only time I was really scared of my pops. The other time I was scared of my pop, my parents was... Where the hell the two times speed and the Minecraft gameplay? All right, bro. I'll stream TV8. The only other time I was scared of my parents was the time when uh we... When I was really scared of my mom, she tried punching me in the back of my head. When uh when I, with that story time, my ex came happen. I was, I was kind of nervous that day. But other than that, I ain't never really been too scared of my parents. And y'all know, like, it becomes a certain point... In, in, in like a, in a period of life where like you not scared of your parents no more, bro. Like especially your dad. Like you get the challenge in his little ass. Especially when you if you bigger than your dad, it's really over at that point. But you don't realize they got grown man strength. Like I do shit like my dad. You know when you little when you little black kid. You know what I'm saying little little black dude growing up. Your dad be trying to fight you and shit like over basketball. Like me and my dad used to get in fights over basketball, bro. Cause he used to do disrespectful shit, right? Like for example, I remember like he used to bitch me. Like when he used to play basketball when I was little. Like, for some reason, we'll start talking shit. Because I'm busting, like, I'll be trying to bust his ass, right? But, like, he, he a little better than me at that point. I'm 12 years old, so he beat me, right? So, he used to take the basketball. He used to me. He used to take the basketball. He used to get mad. He used to roll that down the street and be like, go get the ball. Like, he used to do shit like that. And I remember, like, he used to do disrespectful shit, right? I remember the first ever disrespectful thing he did. 
I had one up on a layup, right? Listen to his song, Loki. No, I had one up for a layup. He, I made it. He grabs the ball. I, he grabs the ball. I walk up behind him. I'm not saying nothing. But he made sure to turn his ass towards me and fart. That's the first time I ever squared up with my dad. Like, literally. The first time I ever squared up with my dad, I actually was like, bro, what the fuck? Like, on this. Like, because well, listen, that was the first time I ever squared up on my dad, bro. Like, he used to talk crazy to me when I was playing basketball. He used to talk so crazy, bro. He used to say, I'm gonna fuck you up when we get in the house. Because <laughs> I'm talking a little shit. Don't you know that? Matter of fact, when we get in the house, bring me your PS4 cords. For what? Because I'm busting your ass right now? When we get in the house, bring me your PS4 cords. <laughs> like, bro, what? Oh, nah, bro. Oh, nah. And I remember, every dude that has a pops, they went through the same thing, right? When you, when you, when you, when you start beating your dad in basketball, when you one day, because look, what happens is this. You beat your dad in basketball, and you realize it was never hard to beat him. It's just because you looked at him as, as a god because he's your pops. So when you start beating him in one sport, you never lose to him again. And then... Put some Vaseline on them, crusty olives, you monkey. And then what they do after that is, they never want to play with you play with you again. They never want to play again. Ever. Like, they'll be like, nah, man, I ain't hooping no more today. The first time I beat my dad, I beat my dad in flip-flops. I went outside, he had his, his Jordan 21s tied the fuck up tight as hell. He had the, the shorts on, tank top on. I went outside some Under Armour flip flops and beat his ass 15 to two. I started thinking to myself, what the fuck? And I remember I crossed his ass like four times in one game. I'm talking about Jamal Crawford. He, he, he. Hide in the back, lay it up. I'm talking about snatchbacks. He, he. I'm busting his ass in flip flops. I'm talking about scoop. He, he. Busting his ass. And I realized, why was I losing to this weak ass motherfucker? Biggest red flags you can see when we first go over to a shorty's crib. The biggest red flag you can see, you can see my room is dirty. Those are packages, new shoes, so that's fine. My room ain't dirty, you know what I'm saying? My room itself isn't dirty. But the biggest red flag, right, as a man, when you walk in a shorty's crib, you walk in a girl's crib, and that shit nasty as fuck, I'm talking about you walking, damn, bitch! What the fuck is this? If you, if you think that in your head as soon as you walk in, you say, oh, Bitch, you live like this. What the fuck? Get the fuck out of there, bro. I'm talking about she got three pit bulls. Is that alfalfa in the corner? One dead rabbit. One ferret. See his ribs. Pizza boxes everywhere. So I'm like, I'm sorry, I forgot to clean. Well, sorry, I forgot the bill. Since you want to be a woman, I don't want to be a man no more. I forgot the bill. I'm about to get the fuck out of here, bro. Oh, my mama, I'm about to get the fuck out of here, bro. Oh, my mama, I'm about to get the fuck out of here. My mama, I'm about to get the out of here, bro. Another thing, <coughs> if you about to go over a woman's house, red flag, if she says to you, and I've talked about this before, my front door is unlocked, leave your gun at home. Just walk right in. You gotta see it through, though? No, niggas gonna see through you. You know how many, how many bullet holes you about to have in you? Yeah, you dumb. They about to drop your ass like a bad habit. You getting robbed, you about to be butt naked, stripped down, oiled, put on an Instagram story, Instagram reel, shade room, Twitter. It's about to get bad for you, man. It's about to get bad for you. I told y'all the story of the time the first time I thought a bitch was trying to set me up. I walk in the crib and she said it was it was dogs in that room. I'm all I kept hearing the dogs do. I'm looking over at them jumps. I'm like, oh nah. She had the door closed. Front door was open. Told me to just walk upstairs. I'm looking at that door. I'm like, bro, there's something behind that door. Mind you, I got a switch of rule on me and GTRP. So I walk up there. I'm like, I'm looking at that door. She told me, I'm talking about, so what type of time are you on? She's like, you know what type of time I'm on. I'm like, I know what type of time I'm on. I ran downstairs. I said, bro, I forgot my, my car. <clears throat> I forgot my phone in my, my car. Hope knowing that I rode a motorcycle. How you forget a, a, a phone on a motorcycle? Ran downstairs. My shit was, I had my shit. And my and my jacket, Ray the the ooh, boy, boy, went downstairs. I seen this Dodge Stratus, five percent tent all around, smoke coming out that bitch. This is all cap. This shit is not real. Hey brother, I just found your stream. Me and the homies have been wanting to know the dimensions of your young African meat. So if you'd kindly send that over, it would be much appreciated. Thanks, brother King.
Yo Unk, have you ever been with a girl that stank? Meat picks game. W Calvin, man. Put a wide buddy kid on the scat, it would look dope. Oh man, bag back, man. Don't tell me what to do with my car. <laughs> the other forty for what? What did he donate forty for? Oh, he sent the weak ass song. This kid is stupid, bro. You sent the file. Look at this shit, bro. He sent a mobile file through text message attachments. Cuz, get your recharge back, you stupid man. I'm not with you, stupid man. Charge back, cuz. I'm not, I don't even want to listen to it, bro. Cuz sent the attachment through, through a, a text message, bro. Charge back, bro. Charge back, bro. Charge back, bro. A file mobile. Library SMS. What, what, what? George Bush say, no child left behind, man. One of them stupid motherfuckers said it. How am I gonna listen to the song, bro? No child left behind, cuz. That's ridiculous, man. You, 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 how do you even manage to do that in a, in a donation? How do you copy something and it, it sends as a, as a file on a phone? How did you, you smart as hell to do that, but you dumb as hell that you did it. How did you do that? Think about it. You smart as hell that you did that, but you stupid as hell for doing that. What? I know your mom disappointed. How do I fix being a wall biter? How do I restart my attention span? There's no way to fix you. If you already a wall biter, let me go and give you a cricket too. If you already a wall biter, there's nothing that can fix you, bro. You have that TikTok mindset. And don't ask me to help you either. You have to delete all your social media apps. You have to go to the Himalayan mountains and you have to start trekking for like eight out of eight. Stop asking me to read the rest, bro. This shit gay, man. I would like to apologize for being so insanely zesty and gay to you. I made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment and I want to ask you for your forgiveness. Also, if you do forgive me, how much of my immunity do I have left with saying gay shit? I never meant it in a gay way, only friendly. Let's go ahead and give him a 10 minute. When you play around like that, right? Let's go ahead and give him a 10 minute, man. When you play around like that, right, and you use our relationship to, to, to be fruity, I got to get you out of here. And don't play me. <laughs> you ever ate ass? I have never in my life ate ass. I've gotten close. Not on purpose. But never in my life. Mmm, let me eat this dirty starfish. I'm not going to lie to y'all. But ass looks ap unappetizing. I've never eaten ass. I use my semen mixed with minoxidil to grow my hairline back as I have male. I've never done that. I think I got in close. And like, if you have a 69 with a girl, and let me tell y'all girls something, right? Let me put girls in their place. Because they be acting like that shit not crazy. I'm going to keep it all the way real with y'all. When you clapping the jump in the back, or if you open up her shit, and you looking, y'all bitches be having hemorrhoids. That shit looking like Arby's roast beef with no bun. With a top bun? This shit look nasty as fuck. That's what y'all fucking... That's what y'all see me looking like. Y'all be having like a little piece of hemorrhoid meat hanging out. Why would I put, want to put my tongue on that? Why would, I, <laughs> why would I want to put my tongue on that, man? Tell me right now. Tell me right now. Why would I want to eat that shit, man? I've never thought to myself, mmm. And you got to think about it. When you, when you open up a butt. Mm. I've never opened up a butt and had the appetizing smell. I go down and I smell the coochie. Mm. Creamy, just how I look at it. I've never said mm. and like the butt smell. Never in my life. Radiance coming out of it, and it smells like ass. You ever take your thumb, shake the butt, take it out, smell it? I died immediately. You know what I'm saying? Why do I want to eat somebody's ass that, that stinks? And here's the thing you can't make a butt smell good. Name one butt that smells good. You can't make a butt smell good. And I told y'all, y'all know I have multiple clips. I would rather suck on toes than eat ass. 100% all the time. I'll suck on toes, no problem. If they cute, pop in my mouth like Skittles. I'm gonna suck on toes. I'm talking about I'm going in between the toes 
It's like little seasoning. It got the sock in between. All my real, all my real niggas know what I'm talking about. It got the little sock in between. It's like salt and pepper. I'm looking in between. I'm getting the sock out. Honey. Come on, man. I've been doing this, man. I'm a grown ass man. Show me the lot of y'all. I'm a grown ass man. Certain colors got different tastes. Pink tastes like Skittles. Black, that shit tastes like mattress material. Brown, mmm, cocoa butter. You know what I'm saying? All types of shit. I'm a grown ass man. I know this. I do this for real. So y'all going, y'all ain't gonna sit here and make me feel bad for something I like to do. I do this with women. Why are y'all so worried about it? I like women, man. Y'all saying grown ass man. Yeah. Grown ass man with a grown ass dingling. Having grown ass. And y'all the ones saying some, oh no, nah, bro. You suck on toes. Oh no. Nah. That's nasty. Why none of the women I get with have an issue with it? You ever notice that y'all gay? You gotta think about it. Y'all are gay. Y'all the only, the men have an issue with it. Why all the women, they get nasty when I do. They get freaky. You ever notice that? When I start talking about shit like this, it's always women I get with that say, oh, I'm with all that. Yes, I want you to do this to me. And they get even more freakier when they see how freaked out I am sucking on toes. But you ever notice it's only men that have an issue with another man doing with a woman? You ever notice that, right? Hmm. I wonder why that is. Because y'all gay. You sit here so worried about what I put in my mouth, what, what, what I do with my thing like. About toes. You so worried, but the women, not, they like it. You ever notice that? Hmm. I wonder why that is. Think about it. Just expose 2,000 people right now. Now how you feel? Now you sitting there thinking to yourself, it might be right. You so worried about what I'm doing. Let me do me. Let me do me. Let me answer uh, Spacey's questions about the cartel though. Let me tell y'all something. Why I don't fuck with third world countries, right? We get y'all a story time, right? He said, Thoughts on the cartel and how they do things over there. How long would you survive in Brazil favelas? Cartel, I love you guys. I love what you do for the community. You, band for band, you would win a hundred times over. I don't want no smoke. I don't have the amount of switches you do. I have no grenade launchers. I love your country. If I came to your country, I will come with the utmost respect. If you don't want me to wear something, I won't wear it. If you want me to learn in Spanish, get to the get to the get to the. I will learn Spanish. I do anything you need me to do. Shit, you hand me a switch, you got some rivals and some ops, I might even help you out. You know what I'm saying? Just point them out. You know what I'm saying? My shit might jam. Give me a high point so I really don't have to do nothing to nobody It jam, but I'm going to keep it all the way real. Now, to explain to y'all, right, why I'm not fucking with the cartel, right? Let me tell y'all something. If, 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 if you're from the trenches, it's different being from the trenches and being from slums. Those are two different things, right? A lot of y'all think I don't have trenches experience or something. I think it's because I stream. I don't know what it is. But a lot of y'all think, like, oh, he might not come. I don't know if it's my personality. I don't know if it's my comedy style. But if you've seen some real shit happen, if you've been in real shit, and then you see they shit, it's two different things, bro. It's two different fucking things, bro. I'm going to keep it all the way real with you, bro. Right? You'll see some regular trench shit happen. Somebody beefing about bitches. Somebody got here with a switcher on him. Understandable, right? It is what it is. We've seen it. Now, you've seen somebody get stood over in GTRP. That's trenches. Damn, bro, got did bad, right? I used to think that Brazil was something like good, bro. And the reason why I used to want, I used to want to move to Brazil. And the reason why I wanted to move to Brazil was because Fast and Furious. Every time in Fast and Furious, they was out somewhere in a third world country. You seen Porsches, Skylines, you seen these, these skinny, skinny, thick, super thick bitch, big booty bitches. I'm talking about every car meet I've been to, y'all know I'm a car guy. Every car meet I've been to, I ain't never seen no bitches in, 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 in bikinis standing on cars and shit. It was all a whole bunch of dudes. And the bitches that was there, they didn't even like men. They had their own builds. I'm like, oh no. When I first started with your car, man, so where, where, the, where the fucking bitches and titties at, man? This ain't like Fast and Furious at all. What the bad bitches? Now, anyways, right? So 
So, in Fast and Furious, they always pull up. And it be a bad bitch. She got the, the flag in her hand. Brian, pull up. Ready? Which do you think it right to get married and have kids? Shut up. 30. Vin Diesel. Dominic Toretto. Oh, her friends and her family. Ready? <laughs> Go! She starts shaking her titty meat. So I'm sitting here thinking as a little kid. Damn! Nigga, I'm trying to move to Brazil! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You turn 12 or 13, right? You start looking up Brazil. What's this website? Live leak. What the fuck? When they got cars on here? Why can't I see this nigga's brain? Immediately in my life, I got turned off so crazy from Brazil, bro. In GCRP, I seen somebody whole face gone. They just had the bone on their shit. Looking like my science project. I said, oh no. Oh fucking no. Bro, still alive. They do fucked up shit to you. They, they inject you with shit to keep you alive to fuck you up. They turn you into human stew in GTRP. Human fucking stew. I don't, I personally think, and look, look, I don't fuck with third world countries, right? I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I don't fuck with third world countries. And I'm gonna explain to y'all why. When I was going on vacations, right? And, and here's the, you know what's so crazy? A lot of people do not believe I come from the trenches, my family don't come from the trenches, all types of shit, because one time I said that we was going on vacations. That's how I know you. they, they really not from the trenches. You do realize, right, people can change their lives and start to get more money and move their family out of the hood and start doing things better. Isn't that the whole goal to get out of poverty in the trenches? Like, bro, what? Like, one time I was telling a story time, I said, yeah, you know my family from the trenches. And I said, like, a couple years later, we started going on vacations. That means you're not from the trenches, bro. What do you mean you were on vacation? Just because that you was broke and you had to eat t-shirt material to live does not mean that my family didn't change their life. What the fuck? You dick eating right now. I, I just don't glorify this shit. I just don't glorify this shit. I don't glorify living in the trenches. That's why people think I'm really not from there because I don't sit there and think, bro, I'm from the hood, bro. I, I, I pull a switch out and, and I'm really like that, bro. Like, I beat all y'all up. Or I don't know if it's because the way I joke with my comedy style, like, like, nigga, what, what do I do? Who, who, who sit there and people that glorify being from there is not from there. Everybody that sit there and be like, bro, I like being in the hood, bro. I want to move to the hood, bro. I'm from the hood. They not really from over there. Who the fuck wants to live in poverty? Who wants to live here in gunshots? Who want to li live here in police sirens and shit? Who want to hear that shit? Who want to be in that shit? Who want to worry about going outside and getting killed for wearing the wrong t-shirt, being from this block, now you beefing with them? You know what I'm saying? Shut up, you're from the suburbs. Who wanna who wanna live in that, bro? Everybody that glorifies that shit's not from there. Mike, think about it. Who literally wants to live in some shit you can get killed just because you you clicked up with this group? This is where you stayed up on this part of the neighborhood. This neighborhood got beef with you. Shit go up, boom. A lot of people that saying right now, like, oh me, me, me. They from the suburbs, they hear the music and they think to go, go to this shit is cool. When you gotta go to funerals and shit, you keep hearing people getting killed, OD, shot, all types of shit. You go to funerals, niggas got switches outside. You need you need security police at your funerals because it might get shot up. Then it's not cool no more. Then niggas are like, oh, bro, I didn't expect this. When you really lose homies, when you have really fr real friends and family that get killed and shit, now it's not funny no more. That's the shit they don't talk about. Yeah, it might seem cool to stay on the block. You got a, a blunt gun on you sitting with the homies. Okay. But when them shots really ring off, a lot of y'all, I don't know what to do. Now you're shaking like booty meat. Now it's cool to hear it, but when you really got to be in that situation and you don't know what the fuck to do, now it's not funny no more. A lot of people, they be like, bro, I wish I would. I'm from the church. Like, bro, you're gang, 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 gang. They're suburban, gated community living motherfuckers. Mm, mm, mm. But, yeah, so my family, like I said, we from the trenches of Jubilee, I don't give a fuck, I don't, I don't like being from there, I like the good shit, I want to live in Beverly Hills, so I don't give a fuck about being from there, I ain't, I ain't, I'm never going back, I never want to go back, I hope all my family get out that shit like we did, simple, right, so when we got out there, we started going on vacations and shit, you know what I'm saying, I mean, we started going on cruises as, as our par my parents' money started getting up, right, as a white boy from the suburbs, can I go to the hood and hold it down? Yeah, they're going to make you a crash out dummy because you're going to get off easy. 
right? Now I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. There's, and here's the thing, right? There's some suburban hoods. Y'all don't even know that. There's just some suburbs that's hood as well. There's regular hoods. We know there's trenches, hood, suburb hood, suburbs, and then the good shit. That's how I know y'all not from the trenches. There's some suburbs that's hood as hell. It's not hood. It's just that the suburb got some hood motherfuckers that moved into it. And they still got that hood mentality. And you know, you know. He said, now you're making shit up. That's how I know you're not from the trenches. There's some suburbs that's nice as hell. They got hood motherfuckers that got money and they moved into them suburbs. It's not hood. It's nice as hell. But they not. They have no problem getting down with your stupid ass. Stupid, man. Stupid, man. You know what I'm saying? So, what I'm saying is this, right? So, when we moved out of the trenches, the first place we moved to was the suburb hood. Then we moved to the suburbs. Then we got into the good shit. Right? So, I remember... Got you, bro. Now listen to that. So, I remember, right? When we started going on, on cruises and shit, this is when I don't... This is why I don't fuck with third world countries. I remember... One thing about white people... One thing about white people is this. When we go on vacations, white people don't like to listen. So, I remember. When we were going on cruises and shit, and you have like a... a, a what's that shit called? What's that shit called? Expedition? Nah, what's the cruise you call? Excursion. Yeah, excursion. Appreciate y'all. When you go on excursions, white people, they don't like to listen to tour guides. I remember. We would go, and we would walk around this shit. And I remember the tour guides and the excursions, like, don't go outside the city limits for these percent things. It'd be like big-ass doors and shit. Bro, we would see white people walk off and do their own thing. Motherfuckers never came back on the boat. On my mama. And then they wonder why... Every vacation, you ever notice every vacation horror movie where they get caught by the cartel, they got to escape a whole bunch of people, it only be white people? It be the black person movie. No, 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 don't go over there. That is not really good to go over there. You're going to, no, that's that's very bad idea. They're like, well, you know, we're just tour guys. Like, what are they going to do against us? Next thing you know, you got three AK-47s with switches, grenade launchers, and machetes on them in the back of your head. messing us the younger generation's mind? What is your opinion Shut on Shut up, man, I don't know. Stop watching it. You trying to be political and shit. You ever notice that? They got three AK-47s. Switches. Three AK-47s. Switches, grenade launchers, and machetes on them. Now you cooked. Better start listening, man. 